Hi, I'm Mike Miller. Hope you're having a great day. Thanks so much for checking out The Other Side. My guests today are two very talented guys. I've been hearing them play around town, and I'm honored to have Ted and Teddy Moore here today. Thank you all for being here. Of course. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, old boy. And I enjoy y'all's music very much. Thank you well, so thank much. Thank you. How did your uh, background really get started in music, your playing experiences earlier in life? Well, I'm a little bit older than he is, just yeah. a tad, and I started uh, playing when I was about 12. Did you? Yep. And I uh, played Hank Williams' song and some old beer joints, you know, so that's kind of was my start. Where did you live back then? I lived in Beaumont, Texas. Oh, uh-huh, yeah. yeah. Born yeah. and raised over there, so. A lot of oil field and a lot of honky tonks and a good, yeah, good good place to cut your teeth. You know? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and then you uh, you just kind of kept going and working with various people over the years. I did, I did. I had a band uh, moved to Houston. Had a band called the Teddy Boys for really? many years, and we traveled uh, all over the states and played the East Coast a lot, New York. Really? And, yeah. So we had a little rockabilly outfit, kind of country rockabilly thing. So. That's Those good. were my crazier days, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of guitars did you play back then? Uh, Mart I was kind of a Martin guy. Martin, really? Mar Martins and Telecasters, and uh, now we're Gibbs, big Gibson guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Y'all yeah. yeah. both play a Gibson. We both, yeah. We both have, have a few lots of Gibsons now. now. Yeah. <laughs> too many. Yeah, a little too many. And you, you were writing songs too? Yeah, we, we actually were going to play some today that I wrote back in the 80s, really? 80, 89. Yeah, one of them was 89, yeah. one of them was a little earlier than and that. And we're going to play some songs that he's written since he was 16 and so. And, uh, yeah. yeah. At 16 you were writing songs? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was yeah. writing a lot just out of necessity, just needing to have original music to play. Yeah, yeah. Really? <laughs> and you started playing guitar at a pretty early age, more or less? No, not really. About 13 or 14. Yeah. Uh, I was just kind of thrown into a band and, uh, and I learned how to play from there, a little rockabilly band. Just learned how to play, a little three-piece band. That's, That's good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Necessity is a mother invention, I guess. And y'all play in Decatur sometimes? Yeah. Yeah, we, uh, we, we really started this thing just kind of uh, by sitting around the house playing, and we started uh, having neighbors come over. And then we started doing these shindigs, uh, neighborhood shindigs, and, and they started kind of uh, growing, and people were always telling us to go play out somewhere, and so we kind of made Denton our little home spot for playing and, and loved the whole Denton scene. We really kind of took to that here lately. How did y'all find James Dolly in the, in the <laughs> dusty open mic? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, someone we work with, uh, his name is Rudy, he, uh, he knew a lady that owns Dusty's and we've been trying to get in uh, kind of a place in Denton, just kind of find a little home there and it just kind of ended up just working out well. We just went and played open mic night there. Uh, how many times we did it? Four times now? And times. now we're doing a residency there now. Y'all had Joe's first show as a band last night. Last there. night, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, right. there. Uh, and and we we went pretty well. We really really liked Dusty's and liked the bartenders there and everything. They yeah. even, they made a drink called the Teddy. So oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got his own drink now. Well, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, we uh, do kind of play uh, that kind of music that uh, enables you to have another drink. You know. Yeah, it's so. definitely drinking music. It's definitely uh, what we. Well, we. I grew up uh, learning how to play, and by you know we'd hang out and drink wine and smoke cigars you know, for eight hours a day and just play. Yeah, <laughs> so you get good at it. Is it all right if we mention where y'all work and what kind of work y'all do? Or? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no, yeah. no. Uh, we work for James Wood. Yeah, y'all work at a big dealership. Big dealership. Yeah. I've been there for 11 years. He's been there for about four. That's mm -hmm. great. And um, we actually, my place, I actually live on James's home place. So, oh, do you? So we, we have horses in his barn and uh, don't let, you know, it's the real hat. You know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's a, it's a special place, and he's a special man, and they're uh, so yep. generous and kind, uh, not only to their community but uh, in inside the lines. You know where we are, uh, they they take so so good care of all of us. It's not even funny. And they've been great uh, supporters in our uh, musical endeavors too. Raymond Wood has, and everybody over there really has. 
they've come down to some of the venues to see yeah. you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah, we, yeah. Uh, we always have James with people out there. That's uh, great. Yeah, it's nice it, of them to do that. It, it oh, is. yeah. You know, a lot of companies <laughs> would probably discourage you from, you know, like <laughs> this afternoon, we want to come and talk to you and hang out yeah. with you. And, man, there's not even a second thought about it. Oh, yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so it's a, it's, a, it's a good fit for us. And uh, that's an unusual dealership because uh, it's personally owned by them. And, they kind of call their own shots, and and we like it like that. It's kind of yeah. kind of old old style dealership where it's not all corporate and all that. So and they do a lot of things for the community. Ooh. Oh Those yeah, things, yeah, sponsorships. a whole bunch. Oh, yeah. You see their name all over yeah. the place. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, they're not afraid to give their money back to the community at all. You know, so uh, you know. <laughs> That's just been a good fit for both me and him both. Yeah, I probably wouldn't sell cars otherwise, probably. <laughs> I'm not really a, a car salesman type of guy, but James Wood really isn't a car salesman type of dealership, at least in my experience growing up. And I was watching some of those videos last night. Y'all do videos down yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. And you were talking about the parts of the cars and the yeah. lights and stuff. Yeah, we yeah. Get, and we do all kinds of fun stuff like that. Yeah, I guess you really have to get <laughs> become an expert on cars to, you know, yeah. to really talk. Turkey yeah, really yeah, comes down to it. Yeah, yeah, you know, there's more to it. I've been in the business for about 23 years now, 24 years, and uh, it, it's not easy. You know, a lot yeah, of people stressful. think it. Yeah, most of the time, people don't last that long yeah. doing that job. So I believe that you have to be about half crazy to do it. So <laughs> the I'm, same I'm, thing as music, fit, though. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have y'all ever had any songs inspired just from things that happened to you at the at work? Mostly just about having to get up after playing a show <laughs> and going to work. Yeah. <laughs> like this morning. Yeah, so he wrote a song a while back called uh, Honky Tonk Clown, and it's kind of like that. It's about staying out in the honky tonks at night and having to drag you yeah. right out of bed the next morning. And you always <laughs> wonder why you did it. <laughs> You're always mad at yourself, wondering why you did it the night before, but you're always glad you did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sometimes too much amber water, you know. Uh, so for y'all that don't know, amber water is another word for uh, bourbon or whiskey. Or you, you, you drink whiskey, though. You don't drink bourbon. I drink whiskey on the rocks. Oh, yes. right, yeah. So I'm it's sophisticated now. <laughs> <laughs> so as far as influences, y'all y'all like ZZ Top and Merle Haggard? And oh, God, yeah. Well, ZZ Top was, when I lived in Houston, was a huge influence on me. I've, I've known Billy for many, many years. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. And uh, so... Yeah, uh, when he was coming up, uh, uh, or after he got big like he was, he called me up one time. I'd bought a brand new Corvette in 77. He says, there's this band in Austin called the Thunderbirds. He says, let's drive over and write some country music songs, and we'll go see them. And they played on Monday night. Well, that was Jimmy Vaughn was in the Thunderbirds. It was Stevie Ray Vaughn's brother. Brother, yeah. And so I kind of grew up around those influence, but at the same time, at that time, I was so into George Jones. Oh, I, wow. I couldn't get enough of him. <laughs> I had 36 of his records or oh, something. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I was a George Jones nutball. Did you ever meet him? Yes, I played. I opened for him at Gillies before Gillies? they, yeah, really? in Pasadena, yeah. Urban couldn't get Cowboys. him off the bus. <laughs> <laughs> so we didn't really play with him, but we were gonna, you know, but they never could get him off the bus to, to get on stage. Oh, Scared really? to play. Yeah. <laughs> now that was that, what was that uh, movie that they filmed? Urban Cowboy. Urban, Urban Cowboy. Cowboy. Yeah, yeah, John Travolta. Yeah, John yeah. Travolta, yeah. Gillies. Yeah, it's and they spun off that. Johnny Lee built a, another club. Uh, yeah, Johnny Lee's nightclub right next to we it. We opened that club with Johnny Lee. Really? Yeah, we opened up for Johnny Lee when they had the grand opening of Johnny Lee. So, yeah. Honky Tonks in Houston and all that, that Gulf Coast kind of sound. That's, mm -hmm. I think sometimes uh, that, that is kind of our sound. Yeah, we're, we're trying to find a way to define it better as we, as we progress as a band and put stuff together. And uh, we don't really, can't think of a word for it, uh, really, or what it's like. But it's really just country music with a lot of, uh, it's just heavier country music. Yeah. One like Billy Gibbons really was kind of a blues player, but mm -hmm. it was a rock. A pop, he, rock yeah, band. he yeah. he was super duper blues player. I yeah. mean, that's that's still his. They're fanatics, yeah. Yeah. just was, like we kind of are about yeah. just about with a country good rock stuff. beat. And yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah bass good drummer, player. you know, yeah, Frank great. Beard. Oh my, you know, yeah, I'm getting better than that. Great yeah. bass player with oh, yeah. good Dusty, taste. Dusty, Dusty Hill. Hill. Yeah, I've heard though that there. Um, 
there was a third person who wrote some of their songs, uh, one of them's brother or something like that? Possibly. Well, there were a lot of people that uh, ghost wrote and, and helped with songs yeah. in that era in that at era. that time, especially around Sharp Dressed Man and really? Eliminator and all that. Yeah, uh, That's when the electric drums were coming out and mm -hmm. they were having to tone back some of their live recording and use machines and digital this and that and you know it was kind of sacrilegious to them so it was a I remember being around them and, and listening to them uh, just being upset about that yeah you know? it bothered them so that's one thing we try to do we try just to play real and uh, not real <laughs> we ain't real fancy and, and we're not and real shiny <laughs> we're not really shy. And Merle Haggard, too. Y'all like him a lot? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're big Merle Haggard fans. Uh, Merle Haggard, George Jones, uh, Buck Owens. Buck even. Owens, yeah. Um, Dwight Yoakam, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Dwight Yoakam's a big one. Uh, that, But Dwight Yoakam was kind of my uh, kind of his the door. George, yeah, his the door George to kind of go through that <laughs> whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, that taught me a lot about just the history of country music and, and kind of having that real sound and not being afraid to, to, to do your own sound though either because I have a lot of influence. I was in punk rock bands and rockabilly bands most of my teenage years. Uh, but really, I'm just better at country music. And Dwight Yoakam really put out some good albums. Oh, he yeah. did, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he influenced a lot of kind of our sound as far as rhythmically and drums and stuff. Mm -hmm. some, of, some of that stuff. But but when we just sing and stuff, we can do we can do a George Jones song or a Merle Haggard song pretty yeah. easily. Like that. What are y'all looking to do over the next few years musically? Hmm. Well, we just want to play where we can, yeah. uh, get as many people out there. Uh, that way, we really want to make a, a record or an EP, original yeah. songs. Because we do have a very good band and a very good um, drummer and bass player. That's helps good, harmonies, yeah. and we're, we're pretty good at singing harmonies together. So oh, yeah. we'd really like to, to make it to where we can we can at least make a living or at least make make it to where we it, it's... Make some money per year off of music mm. wouldn't be bad, yeah. Well, yeah, and also just because it's what we like to do. We'd do it yeah. in either way. Yeah. free we, we've done it for free for 10 years together so yeah. might as well <laughs> keep on going <laughs> but it's really just a lot of fun it's kind of something we can't not do yeah and when you've got talent in your blood and just yeah. love music and we have tried to put it down a few times and, yeah and you know get on with our other career and get on with your life <laughs> and that, and next thing you know we'll uh, be drinking the wine and playing the guitar and here we go again you know, yeah, we're yeah. off and running so yeah, yeah it's good stuff yeah well, I appreciate y'all coming down so much and looking forward to hearing y'all's music today. Well, thank you so of much. Of course. Thank y'all. And uh, y'all stay tuned and check out some great music by Ted and Teddy Moore. And thank you so much for watching and have a great day. I'm Teddy Moore. And I'm Ted Moore. And we're going to do a, an original song here Teddy wrote. It's called Lie to Me. Baby, let's go unpack that suitcase. Let's go talk about the things we meant to say and the things we wanted to hear. Darling, you know I didn't want to hurt you. No, I didn't want you to leave me alone and tell me you didn't love me too. So tell me all those things you told me. Look into my eyes and boldly hold my hand and song. Take your bags out to the car and see you drive away again. 
So tell me all those things you told me. Look into my eyes and boldly hold my hand and softly lie to me. Let's do one, one of those old ones written back in 1989, originally done by the Teddy Boys. It's called Bar Stools and Broomsticks. Well, if I left you tomorrow, would you remember my face? If I met back on Sunday, would they be strange to take in my place? Well, I'm beginning. talking earlier about doing a little honky-tonking 
Uh, Teddy wrote this song. It's called Honky Tonk Clown. It's about staying out all night and having to go to work the next day. Well, it's seven in the morning, got a pounding on my head. It takes every bit of strength I have to get up out of bed. I brush the wine off my teeth when I comb through my hair. I walk out of the door and see the sun's paint for black. When there's a preacher on the corner praying for my soul, it's hard to get to heaven if you want to rock and roll. Resolve gets weak when the sun goes down. Sunglasses on, I turn the radio down. Well, I know I gotta go to work, but I take a shot at Crown. The honky tonk clown is a fun part to play, but only when you don't have any bills to pay. But there's a preacher on the corner praying for my soul. It's hard to get to heaven if you want to rock and roll. This song I was 16 and I still like playing it to this day. sick and drifting My whole damn world sounds just like an old Hank song With loads of women who
sick and drifting. Oh, yeah, I couldn't keep up with you. I was looking at your hands too much. <laughs> when would you write this song? Uh, I wrote this song back uh, when I could still remember stuff. I think it was uh, 80, 89 maybe, 1989 was a good year. You wrote year. a lot of songs in that band, according did write to you. Maybe song, you just yeah. keep on saying I just keep saying the same, the same <laughs> year. Thank you. 